is going on guys it is your boy Cecil here with a video here today bring you guys a really cool uh logo tour here today so basically we're not really doing a logo design however we're basically taking your very possibly simple letters right and making them just like it almost goes about what i how i did the uh, uh how do you make a shadow and logo design so i was gonna make more logo uh videos on the such of like how to color your logos whether they give them more of a style rather than just always rely on the shape of the logo to be what it makes it unique um even though it's still important still uh i'm gonna show you guys something like this today um so this is on this left hand side this all this really is we're gonna call it like a gradient bezel something right this is more like a fractal kind of uh version of it where you have more like sort of like specs like you know crystals sort of like caramel i almost said caramelized um crystallized kind of effect and this is more of like a geometry sort of like very like aesthetic pleasing when it comes to like um point to point middle ratios all that cool stuff this stuff is actually not hard whatsoever it shouldn't take you long at all however i'm talking about in the, in, in the sense when you actually do illustrate it and uh whatnot it's probably gonna take you quite a bit to uh get the perfect colors that you probably want and uh, get a good gradient all that good stuff so keep in mind that's gonna be a thing but <clears throat> for the first one here i'm just gonna show you guys really quickly the fractal right so this is just something that you would do i personally actually uh this is actually a, a letter from a logo that i had to do kjh um I did a little bit on stream as well but anyway it's just one of those things is i just took this letter just to show you guys what i meant um so yeah let me just show you guys really quick i'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna combine it all together unfortunately oh, that's unfortunate not entirely sure why um it's saying it's unconnected but let's just pretend for a second that it was and when we combine the shape it was all one color oh that's why it has like one of those little micro tears yikes okay anyway so here's an example of this one and this is just a let's just say this is your letter k you were just telling yourself i love the way this letter k looks however it kind of looks like it just needs a little something something so what i would do is this is a little more of a fractal kind of design right so as long as you have um you can kind of have what is it called snap to point on that way you can just always snap here snap here snap here and go here now i already have the gradient i use down here i just press i i can just click on that gradient so that's a nice little gradient here as you can see that's one piece of it now as long as you actually have the shape combined together um as if I, if I did this really quick let me show you guys really quick right if i did this i just did that and i didn't combine the shape together oops i didn't go to the point i didn't combine the shape together if i were to try to go ahead and reopen it it would actually continue with that point that i just clicked on right so make sure you guys always close the shape that way you never have trouble so if i just click here here down here and up here to close that shape now if i clicked over here again it won't give me any trouble at all and it won't like re kind of like construct that one shape that we just had before right so this is another gradient here so i know there's a lot of you guys who wonder like how do you make your gradients maybe if you didn't know this i actually didn't know this trick honestly either um however if you guys were to like you know move this around right you probably like this is probably how you would usually want to like move your gradient and whatnot around however if you were to use your gradient tool which is your junior keyboard right that's how i used to do it all the time it's just like i can't really get what i want there's too much of one color too much of the other color however what i didn't never did what i didn't ever did what i never had did what i never had done uh was if i click on the shape that i wanted to go ahead and use the gradient and mess around with it if i just press g and put this back in the middle just in case don't know if it'll do anything but we'll press g right now this is going to give us a gradient tool so if i were to go ahead and sort of like you know as you can kind of see it'll give me more of a it's kind of hard a little bit hard to see when it comes to these colors here let me make this a little bit darker so you guys can see a little bit better right i'll make this one a little bit darker as well just so you guys can see right a little more what's going on right if i were to go ahead and just kind of like said i want more of like this way so all you can think about it like this right if you're going to use your gradient tool wherever you click on originally and wherever you drag whatever color right here is to the left is going to be the first color that's going to be showing up so the pink should be on this side right here while the purple should be on this side if i click and drag just like so right so if you wanted the pink to start elsewhere you click you drag the pink should be top right now and the purple should be bottom left so there's always one of those things that you can always you know kind of know that you can definitely get the opposite as long as you were to you know if you want to go up here let's say you wanted the pink up here right i'll make the pink go up here all right and i'll make the purple go the opposite way so let's start the pink this way right and then you can always make sure you kind of have that vibe right however that me that might be a little bit too sharp for you guys if you guys wanted something more of like i guess um i guess like tasteful and like more blended right you wanted to just like them to blend together more i would just go longer Right? if you go a little bit longer you get like a nicer sort of you get like the end ratio before the the colors transition you get more of that kind of like um less aggressive ch color change more to like a nicer um how would you say like 
more of like a, a, a very sophisticated way, right? So I'm just gonna go over here again. I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna finish the entire logo. You guys already seen how I would pretty much do it. But if I just do this one right here, right? I take my gradient, I go, hey, there's a lot of pink on this side right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my purple is on that side. So I'm gonna take my pink, which is over here, right? Our first, you know, like little thing here. Use a gradient tool and oops, make sure I click on that, right? Use a gradient tool, make sure my purple is landed over there. Now, I want it to be more of like a little seamless, right? So you get something like that, right? It looks pretty good. And I would go back into here again. And just simply, I have the snap to point, right? So whenever I hover over my point, I can make sure always that I'm at that point where I can just, you know, say, okay, that's at the point. We're good to go. I'll start the point again with the pen tool. It'll always be at the point as long as you have snap to point on. And of course, you're like hovering semi close to the point itself. So right here, one of these things right here, there's a lot of purple in this area. So I'm going to take the pink. Make sure I take the pink, well, click over here, click the G tool, which is the gradient tool, and make sure that pink is maybe more on that side, and then you get something like that, right? So if you, as long as you keep building towards that, you'll get a really cool fractal look to it. I broke mine down a little bit more in a sense of, like, I had more of a, um, like, I had a lot more little shards, right? But uh, that's just all about, like, just what you kind of want to do. And also, you don't have to choose these colors. You can really just realistically choose whatever colors you want. Um, let's just say if I, you wanted to choose, let's go with green, then you wanted to choose maybe... Uh, uh, blue right let's just do it just for the hell of it right if i click on this shape here if i press i i can take that gradient and then you can go again with the entire thing so i can just go over here i'm just going to press i on all these shapes and wherever you find that it needs necessary to maybe change your color scheme around a little bit you simply just take your g tool and mess around that's i don't want too much green on that side i want it like that maybe pretty cool so there's a lot you can do with like a fractal design it just kind of looks really cool i also keep messing with my hair because i know it's too long i know it's too long but i'm gonna get it cut soon um, all right, so let's go ahead and move around with the uh, little geometrical shape, right? The geometrical shape, let's ge geometry shape. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this one, but it's more or less sort of like a cleaner look to it and more of a, a certainty, right? You always kind of know like what kind of shapes are going on here. Now, I just made a quick little A, and I'm going to combine that together, and we're just going to go ahead and just leave it as so. I'm going to make this just gray because <sighs> let's just make it gray. <laughs> Boom, right? This is what it looked like originally. Now, one thing I would like to do when it comes to like these shapes, if you have like a nice cornered sort of like ratioed, uh, maybe like an A, like an O or P or something like that, it might look that's very like kind of boxy. Um, what I would do is I always, I would always look for diagonals, right? So I'm gonna go for this diagonal here and say, hey, this is a pretty cool diagonal. Let's go ahead and put that one in here. So once you make that first shape, initial shape, you can press I. Well, if you have already a gradient available to you. If not, you have to create your own gradient, of course, right? But I already have this gradient here, so I'm gonna throw that right there. Right, that's one little part there. I know for sure that I did this here, right? So I'm gonna combine that and let's do it again for this side over here. And once again, if you guys do not know what I'm doing, you see how it's like anchor, you see that word anchor? That means I'm snapping to that anchor point. So if you guys don't have that available, make sure you go to view, snap to point, or press alt plus control plus your little like parentheses button, right? So this is all good to go. This is actually pretty already like how I kind of want it, right? You want the orange on one side and the, uh, the gradient other opposite color which happens to be a pink on that side if i want it more smooth like i said i don't know which side is on which okay so the the orange is on the left side so once i click that's the orange side so i want to say let's go with like something like that maybe right if you want it to be more smoother right you can have it be a little more smoother which is pretty nice and let's go ahead and make another cut here i'm gonna make one big cut here right so i'm gonna do that diagonal line here this diagonal line here combine those Let's do it again over here on the right hand side. Boom, boom, and boom. And there you kind of got, got that kind of going on, right? Now this might be enough for you. Honestly, you see how that's really too close to the, together for me. I'm gonna say, let's put the uh, the orange on that side. So let's go ahead and kind of fix that around a little bit. Now let's also say, if you guys are wondering like, hey, what if I click on both of them and I choose like, I wanna use this gradient, right? But you can see how it's, it's kind of like weird. Maybe if you want them in the same direction, you can go ahead and just click on both the shapes by clicking on one shape and then holding shift, right? And then click on the other shape and you can just press G and then you can have those shapes be a part of the same shape essentially when you're applying the gradient. So it's gonna be really cool to kind of like know that whether if you wanna like make like a cool little transition or whatnot, right? But there's also one thing that I've seen people do as well is if you were to go ahead and let's just make sure by the way, you have your smart uh, guides open. If you don't have these open, you kind of see how like Let's see, you kind of see like how it's like, you know, allowing me to make sure I'm on the path here. If I go over here, it'll allow me to make sure I'm on the path over here again. It'll allow me to make sure like everything, right? If I press it, control U again, you'll see there's no like indication that I'm snapping to anything at all or any lines, any shapes and whatnot. So if I press control U, you'll see 
right? You see how it says interact, or excuse me, um, intersect, which means it's in the middle. If I click over there, if I want to put it in the middle, you can make it stop in the middle and whatnot. But I definitely would advise you guys to make sure you guys have your smart guides on when you're doing this part, because we can do it. This one here is, let's just say this shape here, you wanted to have, um, let's say, first of all, that this shape here had the orange on the bottom. Okay. Now let's take this one and have the orange on the top. So that way the purple is on that side and then you get some like a really cool little bezel, right? This almost reminds you guys about the like the Photoshop bezel when if you were to go to uh, Photoshop, right? And if you were to go to bezel and emboss, you'd see like there's a lot of settings that are kind of apply to this kind of like theme right here. It's kind of what you're doing inside um, Illustrator right now, right? If I want to do one more time for myself, click at the point. Of course, I have a snap to anchor on again. So I can click at this point now as well to make sure I kind of snap that perfect spot. I can hold shift by the way. You can see how it's like very loose. When I don't know exactly where the middle is, if I hold shift, it'll make sure it'll guide me right there in the middle. Click on this point again. Click on this point. And then we'll just do this part. We'll make this orange on the left side. They'll make the orange come out on the other side right here. That way we gotta have that right there again. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I can like really teach on this point. It all, this is all like things that you can do to like just make your or elevate your letter concepts and whatnot a little bit further. It's really good to show that you have a little bit of grading control. Maybe just like if for now, if you guys don't really know how to mess with it too much, I would really advise you guys maybe like make your own gradients or just like kind of figuring things out. Um, would be pretty cool. I'm gonna do it right here as well, actually. Sorry, just had to just do it on one side just to see how that would look right. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of cool things you can do with it. If you even wanted to, you can combine the two styles together, like fractal and what is called this like geometry and uh, kind of combine them together, make some like a really cool style to it. But realistically, it's really cool if you find like a nice color scheme as well. You can just get some really nice, different, refreshing little logo designs that are just regular, you know, that are like your regular black consoles or whatnot. Just kind of elevate a little bit and really work on a uh, color branding, which also really, really matters when it comes to logo designs, right? So hopefully guys, you guys enjoyed today's video here today, where I think we're just gonna title it like gaming logo designs, right? Or gaming logo design or gaming logo, great gaming gradients, I don't really know. However, hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Hopefully it was like to the point and all that cool stuff and hopefully you can deal with me messing with my hair quite a lot because I can just I can just tell. I need to cut it, but I just, I, it was, it just needed to be a little bit longer. A little bit longer, so that when I like shave it, just trust, just trust, okay, I promise. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Sussway HQ out, don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and uh, stay freaking productive, guys.